watch Christmas carols your liberal friends will absolutely hate. Sure, you can say Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays and your liberal friends will get themselves in a snit. But that's so predictable. So 2007. Or, you can choose to mix in some Christmas carols that have some relation of the actual meaning of the season, like A Little Town of Bethlehem and Born in a Manger in the Office Christmas Party playlist alongside Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer and that preternationally dreadful Paul McCartney song that sounds like the noises late 70s synthesizers made on their deathbeds. That's a bit predictable too, though and explaining concepts like respecting Christianity the same way we respect other religious beliefs and why we celebrate Christmas in the first place to the HR department isn't the way anyone wants to spend their Monday morning lunch break. Instead, to annoy your liberal friends this Christmas season, we advise you to introduce these carols into your repertoire, some new takes on some old favorites, all with one new instrument. In case you're wondering about the percussion here, the folks over at Outdrehub say that the trumpeter starts with a Glock 19 Gen 2 before switching to a Walther P22. Better acoustics, I say. Perhaps guns are your thing but Let It Snow isn't. Fun trivia fact. The actual title of the song is Let It Snow. Let It Snow. Let It Snow. My guess is that radio program directors got a little sick of repeating the whole thing and just went with the abbreviated version. More fun trivia, well. Not as fun, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer is actually the brainchild of an admin who used writing the song to get through the tragedy of losing his wife to cancer. Thankfully, he was able to transmute pain into joy that's endured for decades, and that joy is further enhanced with the addition of the Second Amendment. Oh, and probably more pertinent trivia, the guy behind these videos is Charlie Cook, who is awesome and whose firearm-centric YouTube channel which doesn't consist entirely of Christmas carols and definitely doesn't consist of a cover of McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time that uses a Weatherby Vanguard compact to try to make it listenable, is here. I don't know the guy and he's not paying me a buck for this endorsement, but patronage is strongly encouraged on my part for reasons that should be patently obvious. Oh, and one more for the road. If that doesn't fill the room up with liberal tears, man, nothing will. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good time at the range. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if this gave you a chuckle. What are your thoughts on these Christmas carols? Scroll down to comment below, below.